Hi, my name's Keller. I have been into Bitcoin for quite a while now, and I'm going to try to show you how to use the Lightning Network over Electron, though I am having some issues myself. So let me tell you a little bit how the process worked for me. I, I had my Electron wallet, and I had already upgraded to the um, scripting language, so all my receiving addresses are BC1. Or another way to verify that is wallet information, and it'll have this P2WPKH in the script type and lightning enabled. And if that's working, then you know that you're going to be able to get uh, into the lightning network. Now, if you want to wa run a watchtower, you can click this button and click this button there, and that will allow you to run a watchtower which uh, helps to strengthen the network of the of the lightning system so when i went to go open my and a little bit about what the lightning network is the lightning network is a um it's a script that's kind of contained within the bitcoin network and you can send like 60 dollars of bitcoin into the lightning network and then you can pay one dollar three dollar four dollar transactions with virtually no fees whatsoever, instantaneously received by the other party. However, it's in the beta phase, so it's still um, it's still being developed, but that is what it's useful for, for me to transmit over the Bitcoin network right now uh, as instantaneous as possible, then it costs about $5, whereas if you wanna transmit over the Bitcoin network within a day or two, it costs 10 cents to 50 cents. Now over the Lightning network, um, you can transmit instantly for no cost at all or fractions of a penny, a, fr a fraction of a penny every single time. So now with, um, uh, so uh, that means um, sending transactions that are $5 or less over the Bitcoin network isn't really a practical use of Bitcoin, but you can do that over the Lightning Network, which is what you might end up seeing when it comes, if it ever becomes a system where people are buying coffee using Bitcoin, it would be over the Lightning Network and not over Bitcoin itself, or or possibly like a, a PayPal type of a thing, substitute coins. So, um, so anyways, so so the process that I did to open my channel was I um, clicked open channel here, a warning popped up, and that warning. That warning said that this is experimental, don't put a lot of money on it, and I agree. And I put 0 0.004 Bitcoins, which is about 150 bucks, um, or 100 bucks onto the Lightning Network. Now, my channel didn't open up right away because in the bottom right corner, this little Lightning symbol had to count up to 30% complete before my channel would be opened up. And then after uh, three confirmations of my channel being opening on the real Bitcoin network. I went ahead and went fall, uh, file, save backup, and that's how you can backup. That's the only way to recover your Lightning information should you uh, should you need to restore your Lightning network. You have to do save backup. You can't just copy the wallet.dat file using this system, and you ha you need to wait until th at least three Bitcoin confirmations before you back up your wallet. Now, when it came to receiving money on the Lightning Network, I just clicked this little button here, and this produced a code to receive money on the Lightning Network, which you can attempt to use if you wanna give me a donation and uh, test your Lightning Network. Now, I have tried to pay money on the Lightning Network, and I have not been uh, terribly successful so I'm going to try to I'm going to try to do this again and I will try to pay Jack uh, Joho Jockin you know this fella um, okay I'm gonna try to pay this fella to get um, to see if I can test out the lightning network and I'm just doing a small Little amount, um, put that in there, check in some pool, and let's click pay. And it asked me to confirm. And it said payment failed, no path found. 
So I might be doing something wrong. Um, maybe that happens for you too. You can try to send some money to me and see um, if it works that way. Um, otherwise, uh, who knows what's going on and that's why it's an experimental program for now. And then when it comes time to get your money out of the Lightning Network and back end Bitcoin, if you do force closed channel, you're going to have to wait two weeks before you get your money. If you do closed channel, then you should get your money within um, within a few hours. And that is, that is pretty much uh, most of the things you need to know in order to use the Lightning Network over Electrum Wallet, which I think is the default pre-installed system of the Electrum Wallet. Now, um, just so, so I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about how the Lightning Network integrates with Tor and Tails, and I'll tell you a little bit about, about some of the other projects I do. I, um, I got a fella who I work with, he's in high school, he can help set up your BTC Pay server for you and also help you get a website, go virtual. You can see those links below. I prepare taxes for people. I'm a CPA all around the US, so if you need tax help, I can do that for you. I got a project, bitcoin1776.org, where I get people uh, all, all, you know, all over the world, but uh, you know, speaking English at the current time, to open up about some subjects that, how they're improving their lives and how they're helping people around uh, in their community. And uh, that process, you give me your email and uh, you get paid to do that process. I also have a nonprofit, 501c3, Midnight Discovery, where I sponsor kids in high school and try to get them a technical training thing at uh, technical training as quickly as possible so that they can get into the workforce making as much money as one could expect uh, by the age of 18 and 19. Um, and I do a few other little projects and you can like donate or use my referral links to help sponsor this channel and pro uh, sponsor some of the projects I do. And now I'll tell you a little bit about um, the Lightning Network and a little bit more about how that works. So the Lightning Network uses something called uh, the Onion Routing System, which is where you have um, seven hops to to get to your uh, destination. In this way, no one can really track uh, who you're sending money to very easily. And the fees are the lowest fees based on how many hops you're going to. So Tor, which is known as the Onion Router, Tor is what the Lightning Network is modeled out after. You might've heard about this in Mr. Robot or some other programs. And this is where you use uh, you unwrap the onion or the seven hops of the onion in order to send all your data anonymously and you can get a special tour website and all this other thing that uh, does not connect to the main internet it doesn't a tour website won't look like dot org it's um a, it looks like a bitcoin address basically and another project that's used for an anonymity is the tails project and Tails is like a Windows operating system. It's called Ubuntu. And you can um, use this to operate any computer bypassing the Windows setup. You won't need a password to use, you won't need the Windows password to use somebody's computer if you have a Tails uh, USB drive. It's about four gigabytes to run the Tails program. And that will give you access to all of the processing powder of power of the computer without any access whatsoever to the Windows operating system. And it's systems like these that uh, Edward Snowden might have used when he was uh, helping to declassify the NASA file, the, the NSA files. Um, it's also these types of programs, Tor and Tails, that WikiLeaks or the Pirate Bay might use as well. So the Lightning Network which the easiest way to get into it is to use the Electrum uh, wallet right now. The Lightning Network operates on a similar principle where it's hops of an onion router um, where you get one private key and it goes to seven different people and nobody knows where the endpoint is. So they don't know, they don't know it's seven and they're, they're number five of seven. They just know it's hopping once again, once again, once again. 
and then it stops whenever it gets to your address, but nobody knows it stops. And that's how the Lightning Network uh, sends the money. Now, as it translates to the Bitcoin blockchain, on the Bitcoin blockchain, there's two people who form an agreement who you are one of them when you open the channel and then uh, you'll always have a partner when you open the channel. These two people verify how much money is in each of these channels. And then when you close the channel, these two people verify that yes, this is how much money was verified on the Lightning Network, the collection of all the nodes, and they, they agree with this amount of money and thus put it back onto the Bitcoin network. And each time you come on, uh, off the Bitcoin network and back onto, uh, when you go into the Lightning Network and off the Lightning Network, you might pay a fee of about a dollar. And then um, while you're using the Lightning Network, so you might send, you might send $100 onto the Lightning Network and then you might send uh, 50 cents to this guy, $5 to this guy, $4 to this guy, three bucks to this guy, just all kinds of small minuscule transactions. And when you send the $100 onto Lightning Network, maybe you, you lose a buck, so now you're down to $99. And then when you send all these minuscule payments, you'll probably lose about a nickel for every single one of all these payments. And then when you take the money back off, you pay another dollar, so now you're down to 98 bucks, or 90, you know, $97.95 after all your Lightning payments, and that's what the Lightning Network is used for if you're to try to do that only on Bitcoin, um, which is one of the only ways, or the, the best way to send money, uncensorable money all around the world uh, that cannot, that's fraud proof. Your international customers can't try to um, steal, uh, get a refund on the credit card or use a fake wire transfer. If you get Bitcoin money internationally, that money is solid and you don't have to worry about like a chargeback type of behavior. So, uh, but now you can do that with the Lightning Network for small amounts of money internationally, which is quite, quite an interesting feature. And in the next uh, six months or so, we're in November, 2020, probably, um, well, I'll just say December, 2021. I bet you the Lightning Network will be substantially more developed than it is today and more user-friendly. As the beta release of the network, this Electrum is the first uh, the first system I've seen where it's just a one-click feature to get into the Lightning no Network. I think it sounds really, really cool. And uh, just make sure to back up your wallet. And then um, when you're use when it, when you're done and you want to get access to your bitcoins again to to use the regular network you just close you just click close channel and that will get you your coins again and if you click force close channel then it'll take about two weeks before you get your coins now if you um open more and more channels like i might maybe i need to open more channels in order to get my um in order to be able to connect to more nodes to open, as you open more and more channels, then each time you open a new channel and after three confirmations on the Bitcoin network, you need to back up your wallet file. Okay, and I'm gonna call it there. Uh, I hope you've liked this. And if this has been helpful or encouraging or, mot or you wanna help uh, uh, support this channel, just check out the links below. Thank you so much. Talk to you later, bye.